Hi, this is Pastor Mike Wigan. Welcome to your daily devotion and update for Faith Lutheran Church on the 25th of May, 2022. Well, it happened again. If you watched the news this morning, you heard another senseless act of violence. Many children injured, dead. And you hear again those phrases, we can do better, we can't let this happen again. And on all sides, people champion different things, genuinely wanting to do something to, to make these things stop. Don't misunderstand when I say this, but no matter what we do, there will be a next time. Even if we are able to stop or do things that help curtail specific ways in which people act out violently. Here's what I mean. There will be a next time. There will be the next time when people die before we think they ought to die. There will be a next time when people die in a way and at a time that surprises us. And yes, it is possible that next time it will be me or you. Or while I perish to think the thought, yes, it could be one of our children. No one likes to think about that. I don't. But by the same token, this helps us understand and really put emphasis on why it is that we are who we are and we do what we do as Christian people and as a Christian church and school. The reason we exist is to prepare people, young and old, for that day when their time on this earth will end. Because for every single one of us, our time on this earth will end. And all of these next times just serve as one more reminder that this is true. But what does God say to us? As you look at the possibility, the prospect of this happening again or to you, you can be ready. And here's how you can be ready. A summary from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. While people are saying peace and safety, destruction will come on them suddenly as labor pains on a pregnant woman, and they will not escape. But you, brothers and sisters, you're not in darkness, so that this day should surprise you like a thief. You are all children of the light and sons of the day. We do not belong to the night or to the darkness. So then, let us not be like others who are asleep, but let us be alert and self-controlled. Those who sleep, sleep at night. Those who get drunk, get drunk at night. But since we belong to the day, let us be controlled, putting on faith and love as a breastplate and the hope of salvation as a helmet. And here's what I really want to emphasize, verse 9. God did not appoint us to suffer wrath, but to receive salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. He died for us so that whether we are awake or asleep, we may live together with him, Therefore, encourage each other with these words. We're ready. We do all of these things. We teach what we teach. We share Jesus with our children, with the world, so that we are ready for these kinds of awful days. Not that we celebrate them, not that we want them to happen again, but when they do, we know that for a Christian, for a child of Jesus, what is awful and tragic in this world leads to a new and perfect world that never ends. That's the bottom line, brothers and sisters. We're ready. Amen. As far as announcements today, a reminder that tonight on Wednesday is our preschool graduation. Tomorrow, Thursday evening, our School graduation and this weekend and our weekend cycle of services will be blessed again to have representatives from Camp Philip with us this coming weekend. Pray that God would richly bless you in the week ahead. We ask that you would please keep all of those who are mourning 
the loss of those students and children in your prayers. But remember, even in the face of tragedy, being a child of Jesus means that we're ready. God bless your day.